my friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension. And uh, this video, um, you know, is a gift for you pregnant women. And in particular, this is for you, Karina. We had our session today and I decided to make this for your baby that is coming. Uh, but if you're not pregnant as women in general, if you want to become pregnant, um, this meditation is also going to be very, very helpful because you want to prepare, you know, your womb and make it a sacred, a pure place, you know, that is as radiant and as shiny as a beautiful heart chakra. Right? <laughs> you don't want to uh, invite, you know, a baby into a womb that is full of cords and pain and misery <laughs> from rape, sexual abandonment or whatever, right? Um, so. Uh, the more pure and healed and healed and holy, you know, your womb is, you know, the more chances for your kid, you know, to manifest there, you know, to be happy, to be nourished. And of course, to also attract, you know, a high, high-end spiritual soul into your womb, you know. Um, uh, because uh, those things are rare. <laughs> to have a pure womb and it's a you know a special privileged souls will come in and so they have you know all the advantages uh, so but uh, mainly mainly besides um, you know clearing up the womb um, mainly this meditation is going to be to connect you know with the baby in the womb and again if you are planning to be uh, pregnant just imagine that you're talking to the future child from the future something like a job interview and actually you can do job interviews with uh, souls coming in you know there are souls staying in line to take birth so you can pick <laughs> uh, absolutely and i recommend to pick yeah um so uh, so but uh, you know once um, you are pregnant, you surely want to connect um, this, um, this, uh, this avatar that is in your body, right? I mean, don't think of this baby as, you know, ignorant. You know, the real person is huge. It's a huge consciousness, you know, the original soul. And uh, this will kind of filter down into this First of all, ignorant baby into this advanced monkey body. <laughs> so it is as if you, uh, as a human with your human consciousness, try to take birth with mice. How much of your knowledge can you take with you into this small brain? You know, so this is the problem of the soul to manifest. So don't think that this uh, baby, you know, it's is a huge, very wise consciousness. And it's just that you have to connect with this and have a loving relationship. And then, of course, the meat body, the monkey body that will be growing into your body, of course, will flourish also. You know, as above, so below. So this is the idea now. Mm -hmm. And um, so, uh, just uh, close your eyes. And make yourself comfortable. Um, you know, many of you want to lay down, but if you start to pass out, <laughs> it might be better that you sit in a comfortable office chair. Keep your back as straight as possible. You know, you can run way more l light and love when you're sitting mm -hmm. or when you're standing. Of course, I prefer sitting uh, than laying down. It's about the alignment of the spine, basically, mm -hmm. towards the heaven and earth. Uh, yes. So, uh, in whatever position you are, um, you know, put your hands, you know, you cup your hands over your ovaries. You basically let them rest on your thighs, you know, and just place them where the ovaries are. It's very easy. Keep your hands relaxed. Mm -hmm. And first of all, uh, we connect to Absolute Source. Uh, means nobody higher than this, you know, the origin of everything. Mm -hmm. Not interlopus, but the origin of everything. Yes, and we ask for guidance and protection. 
If you connect to our own higher self and to our spirit guides, whatever, you know, spirit beings have been approved by our own high self and are in the service of the absolute creator in service of love and light, they are invited to be here too, to guide and protect us, you know, protect us from those that are in service to self. Now, amen, 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 amen. And now, uh, just imagine that you smile at the Earth Mother that is below you. Connect with this big globe, and she is smart. And just imagine that you draw her love with your legs into your heart. And on the exhale, you send your love to Just smile as if you are in love, and then... Pull the love in and then smile and send your love all the way out and open, you know, those channels, those energy channels in your legs. Just flow it over the knee and the calves that are the bottlenecks. Just make sure it's nothing stagnant there. Uh -huh. And just go back and forth and use this chi and love that you're flowing back and forth to kind of scrub, you know, those channels through which this chi is flowing. Mm -hmm. Good. And now we ask our angels to clear as much of fear and pain from our heart as possible, and to clear any contamination from other people, their hate, their anger, their backstabbing, their cords through which they pour their pain into us or blame us. Just, we like to have this cleared. Please, 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 please. Amen, amen, amen. We ask the angels, our spirit guides, or like for the Hindus, like Lord Ganesh, or Lord Shiva, the transmuters of poisons. Uh, there are many, like High Griva. Uh, uh. And now he asked uh, for your divine female aspect your female high self to be in front of you. Amen. Mm -hmm. And many of you will feel her presence. And some of you will see her. Some of you will see her in a humanoid form. And some of you will see her just as a radiant light. Uh, and it doesn't matter how, just smile, don't scare her, and on the inhale, just draw her love into your heart. And on the exhale, you send your love. Mm -hmm. And for our source, and the protectors, the divine protectors, to make sure this is really our high self. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. And we asked, of course, Source also to protect us with the ring, with the column of love and light. It can, you know, only be penetrated by love and light, and it keeps, you know, darkness out. Amen. Amen. All right. And now, uh, yeah, you know, I can feel the heart chakra opening with you. Now ask this divine female aspect of you to step into your body, so her face is facing the same way as you. We ask her to step into you now. Amen. And you probably feel uplifted now, and will be taller along your shoulders. <laughs> and now imagine that you unzip along your spine, you know, just opening up more towards her divine presence and smile. And you probably want to adjust your spine or neck. Just uh, don't keep it stiff. Just flow with it. Uh -huh. Don't be afraid or stiff. 
And now with her in you, <laughs> put the tongue at the palate so all the brain halves are nicely balanced and you can chi up your brain. And now uh, on the inhale, draw that love you know, from Mother Earth into your heart. And with her help on the exhale, send that love then through your arms, through your palms, into your uterus. Oh, into your ovaries and from there into your uterus. Mm -hmm. And maybe flow it over there and then into the earth. So that first of all, the negativity, the low chi gets cleared with this love. So smile as if you are love and breathe deep and sensuously. Mm -hmm. And then bathe your ovaries into your uterus with this beautiful light and cleanse it mm -hmm. and run this into the earth to be purified and recycled. This is all valuable energy for some, mm -hmm. so it's getting composted. Yes. We asked Mother Earth to accept this for us. Mm -hmm. She can transmute it. Ah. And now we asked all the divine female aspects, you know, representation of source or higher consciousness that are approved of your high soul. So let's say when you are uh, like Asian, you may ask for the presence of Wan Ying, for instance, or Tara. Mm -hmm. The ones that you have a relationship from past lifetimes and that are approved by your high soul. Mm -hmm. Let's say if you are Christian, you know, my, you may ask for Mother Mary or Mary Magdalene. Mm -hmm. Very enlightened beings in alignment. Mm -hmm. Or even the angels, the healing angels, you know, whatever who is specialized for you or what you need. They're no better than us. Mm -hmm. Or if you're Native American, you may invite white buffalo woman or other beings, you know. <laughs> Many Native Americans have a deep relationship with Mother Kuali Loop. Uh -huh. Just call on her too, depending on where you are. She is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And... They could be our Lakshmi from the Hindus, or Mother Durga, mm -hmm. or Venus, or Saraswati. It really depends on what you did in past lifetimes. So let's just ask for the presence of those that are most appropriate for you and the most benevolent for you. Mm -hmm. and you know, we ask them all to contribute to this love that is being sent to the womb. Mm -hmm. And just keep pumping this love in there. Mm -hmm. Do this maybe when you watch TV and just don't watch horror movies. <laughs> yeah, or action movies, you know, comedy is fine. Listen to good music, not heavy metal music. Mm -hmm. Go into into the forest instead of the mall for well, football games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just bring really beautiful, pure love. And we asked all the spirit guides to contribute and create this beautiful, nourishing bubble and to create a protection so that the dark side, you know, cannot even touch or get to the baby. Mm -hmm. And now we ask the protectors, you know, to come forward, even nice ones like the unicorns, and clear out any cords that are still going into your womb from past lifetimes or this lifetimes, from ex-lovers or predators, 
you know, there may be people that raped you, or just lovers that you loved, but that are still attached and draw on your energy from you, you know, that should be used now for the child. So we asked, you know, Archangel Michael or the other protectors to cut those energy draining cords, even if they come from the Anunnaki, you know, not allowed anymore, not allowed. Amen, 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 amen. Just keep running that love into your uterus and your ovaries. And we also forgive all those that hurt us, or we forgive all the trauma that we experience as mothers in this and past lifetimes. Now, amen, 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 amen. And just keep pumping that love into the uterus and the ovary. Smile, breathe deeply. The more brilliant and heart-like you can make this, the better. The more beautiful the pregnancy is going to be. The more beautiful and radiant the child is going to be. And now we ask, you know, the big heavy-duty cleaners, like Archangel Michael or Lord Shiva or Lord Ganesh, depending on the tradition, the bodhisattvas, to please clear any curses, generational curses or personal curses from past lifetime that were placed onto your womb, onto your fertility, onto your birthing process. Uh, and also, just to be just, you also probably placed curses and anger on other people's wounds. So to just, you know, we ask the heavenly host to please clear, you know, the curses on all sides. Now, for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Hain, hain. And just keep pumping that love into your ovaries and uterus and tell the child that it is love and that it is welcome. And if you ask that any past karma that is still with us, any negative karma, any promises that are there that have been made, maybe very sincerely, maybe full of love, but foolish. <laughs> with the eyes of eternity, and your high self kind of knows what those are. So we ask that all those promises, or when we were angry at each other, curses, you know, all the stuff, all the baggage that's still with you. We like to have this cleared as much as possible right now, so that this can be a much better positive relationship from the best, from the start. Now, amen, amen. And smile, 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 smile. And breathe and smile. Make sure your heart is ring. Yes. And thank all those beings that surround you that love you. And now we ask for an outpouring of heavenly love unto you. Uh -huh. Now, amen. It takes about three seconds. One, two, three. Uh -huh. And start inhaling the smile like if you're in love. And pull this in all the way into the womb. Uh -huh. And then you send your love up to them. Then all the way into the womb and we ask Source and the angels to make sure and only the purest, most loving, most nourishing energy comes in there. And that all the other darkness, you know, the DNA flaws and whatever gets wiped out. Uh -huh. That all the hooks and barbs and karma and samskaras, this means all trauma, we cleared as much as possible. And that even there any DNA sabotage, <laughs> by the reptilian and all by the grace, you know, that all the sabotage be cleared too. 
Amen, 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 amen. And now, uh, as the womb has been cleared, we ask the divine beings, you know, to bless it, uh, to update it, and to bring any aspect of your soul that left due to those trauma. We ask that they can rejoin you now to bring more energy and more love and more soul presence into these incarnations and of course into the birth of this child so that it becomes a gift to this world. Mm -hmm. Amen, 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 amen. Uh -huh. We ask to be updated on all levels like DNA, etc. To be replenished, we ask that everything be integrated. Uh -huh. And that there be seals and protections put onto us and our energy centers through the dark does not have access anymore. In case there's still dark portals in our womb or energy fields or attachment or parasites, we ask the angels, the purifiers to protect them, the goddesses, to please clear them from us for the highest good and divine harmony with the most beautiful outcomes. Amen, amen, amen. And if you want, you can just keep laying there and smile like you need it and continue till you pass out and go to sleep. Good way to go to sleep. Um, if you don't have the time, maybe that's in the morning. Mm -hmm. And just uh, you can open your eyes now. One, two, three. You're completely grounded now. Uh, hello back. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, wait a little bit before you drive or operate heavy machinery. And uh, so do this, uh, you know, as often as you can. Um, you know, especially at night if you cannot sleep, uh, just put your hands there or would put one hand onto your heart and the other hand onto your womb. And uh, just lay there, maybe breathe love into both, you know, and just smile. And uh, even if you cannot fall asleep, uh, you will not resent <laughs> this time. You know, it's uh, probably one of the best times you may have. It can even happen that the soul kicks fully in and you have a, you know, complete illumination. It has happened to me. Um, had nothing to do with the baby, just, I mean, the soul, you know, of my son, uh, you know, had just a little connection through the embryo and it just came in big time. Uh, it was amazing. That's all what I'm going to say about this. So, if you reacted well to this meditation, uh, watch my other stuff, subscribe, ring the bell, give me a thumbs up. I do private session. I help... Um, Maybe I help people to become uh, fertile. Um, at least uh, we remove obstacles, you know. Um, so, um, but I help with all kinds of other things, probably as you can imagine. I'm quite reasonably priced. Uh, just sent me an email. I love you. Namaste.